Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at the CMYK color separation in comparison with the color separation for RGBW, uh, and th which both of which allow you to edit color and tone separately, but they're slightly different. So let's have a quick look at it, and we'll do it by deriving those uh, separations. So we can start off the CMYK here for the color and go to the curves. And an easy way to do this is to go to CMYK here, go to the blacks. And if I turn down the blacks, so literally it flat lines at zero across the bottom, all that left is the CMYK color, which again is quite um, bright and so on. And uh, I'm going to merge this so that it doesn't get in the way for later and makes it nice and clear for you. Then we'll look at the uh, one here for tones. Same sort of thing done here, but in CMYK, I need to turn around, turn down the cyan and the magenta and the yellow in order to leave just the blacks. So this is the blacks image for, you know, for this one. And to combine the two, I go to the top one and I change the blend mode here to multiply. So I get back to the original picture. Now let's just turn off that CMYK, go to the RGBW. This is quite different, but it does result in another way, another way of doing something useful. So I go to filters, apply image here. Now what I'm going to do is use current layer as source, click on equations, and I can uh, go to this here. In fact, what I'm doing here, SRS source red, and it will just think of it as red. I can say minus the minimum of red, green, and blue. Close square where the, the brackets, when it goes white, you mean you've got a valid one here. I'm going to select the min and Control C to copy it so I can use it a lot. So I can subtract the minimum from each of these. And that's so I can apply that. And so effectively I've sliced off from the red, green and blue the minimum amount which is common to all of them. And this leaves me with a very, very different image here compared to the CMYK color one. And this is partly because CMYK is a kind of upside down model where you're getting whites uh, a lot appearing in it. So it looks a lot brighter, but actually there's the same sort of information there. It's just kind of different. In particular, the RGBW, guess what? It focuses on the whites, the lighter colors, CMYK focuses on the blacks, those colors. So Let's turn this one off, go to the bottom one here and do the filters and apply image here. Again, currently a source equations. And now effectively I'm going to put back that minimum which I subtracted from the previous one. And when you've got red, green and blue layers all with exactly the same thing, guess what you get? Black and white, a monochrome image which you can then apply. So now I'm going to go to the top layer of this and all we need to do is literally add it, these two together. So to go blend modes and add, and here's my original picture. So for both CMYK and RGBW, we've separated out color and tone and we can edit those separately and they're going to be different. Look at these here. I'm going to use Alt and click on the image here to see it. There's the color for CMYK. Remember, this kind is kind of upside down, so in a way, sort of white should be blacks if you think about it the other way around. Because RGBW, this is the colour here, which is quite uh, a different one. Here you've got the tone for this. The tones are, because they look similar, it's sort of the right way around, even though the whites here means a lack of black. Uh, the RGBW one is different. And what you're seeing here is, is in the lights here, you're getting a lot more 
of the texture of the sky and this is the difference between them if you wanted to edit the tones here um, including the tones of the sky in this texture within clouds then RGBW is a better option whereas if you go to the tones here and you want to get more into the detail of the darks here then guess what CMYK might be a better option um, so choose your model depending upon what you want to do you might wonder can we compare the two you can because I've got a one here can I combine them because I'm going to look here at if I open up the CMYK here what I've done is the color model uh, the color layer sorry I have broken down into two layers here which are by let's alt click on this one here this is colored so this is the CMYK color on that layer this is a different one because I've broken it down using the RGBW method so it's a combination of CMYK and RGBW so I've got a tonal model here effectively squeezed out from the CMYK color I've squeezed out some more black and white and I've still got the tone here and I've done the same down here with RGBW and so the color here I've started off from here squeezed out using CMYK this so you've got another color as opposed to the one up ones up here and you've also got a monochrome coming out of this so this gives you even more detail you can go at it from either direction and I don't know which is the best way to start but what you've got here is detail and then more detail and you can focus in on the sorts of information you want to do and this is something to try bottom line is going to be play with it a lot I've only recently come up with this so I need to be honest I, it's, I don't have the detailed examples of where I've used it but I can see that it is going to be very useful anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching